You awful people. You think I'm going to go after Fetterman's looks or his stroke. I would not do that. I would never go that low. Even though it is true, he's the one candidate that does not require a mask or costume to scare the kids on Halloween. But if I were going to go there, I would have to bring in Nancy Pelosi because she does wear a mask every day and she scares me more than the kids. I would never do that, nor would I go after his stroke. I agree with the people who say there are devices he can use that will help him communicate and function as a senator on Capitol Hill. Of course, I do wonder, like others, what happens if the power goes out, but hey, not my concern. The reason Fetterman is the scariest candidate is because of his belief in political violence and even killing people for your beliefs. You say, what? Listen to this. Number one, he support one of the key issues today for all of us is the violent crimes that we see happening. He is for releasing a third of the prisoners from Pennsylvania jails. And he even follows that up with a comment, hey, this will make everyone safer. <laughs> this proves beyond any doubts that Democrats are really the ones denying science. Because if you look at the analytics, the people who are committing the crimes, the violent crimes, are people who've already been convicted of committing violent crimes and they've been released. I can't imagine what I would do if some criminal was released and they killed one of my family members. I guess I would take his place because I would kill him. It's pathetic and he believes in this stuff. He also is a socialist. And if you believe in socialism, this is one thing I don't like about American socialists. They will not admit the truth of history, which is you don't have socialism without a lot of murders. Vladimir Lenin, the first true socialist, admitted this. He said you don't have socialism or communism without brutality. It's just required. You don't get to utopia without it. As I imagine a road to utopia, both ditches on either side are littered with the bodies of people who've been murdered because they just couldn't submit to everything required. And socialists would say, well, yeah, but it's, you know, it's worth it. As Lenin said or Stalin, you know, a few farmers are going to have to starve for the sake of the rest. That's who Fetterman is. He wants people to die if they can't submit. He's a supporter of Bernie Sanders. And I love the story of Bernie taking his honeymoon to Moscow. And believe me, he wasn't going there for the beaches, okay? Uh, he loves communism, which kills people. I mean, Russia has killed more people for politics than any country in the history of the world. Fetterman also is a supporter of Black Lives Matter. Now, I understand he scrubbed that from his website. I don't know if that's true, but he's obviously been a supporter in the past. I don't know of a more violent extremist group ever in our country's history than this one. They make January 6th look like, you know, some kid that goes on the beach of Moscow and knocks over Bernie Sanders' sandcastle. I mean, they are truly, and for months on end, the most violent group we've seen. It bugs me that we worry about their corruption with the money and the donations, and nobody talks about the violence. This is who John Fetterman is. He's the scariest because he believes in political violence. He welcomes it. The more people that die, I would assume the better, as long as we reach his utopian dreams. And listen, I'm not a Dr. Oz fan. Uh, I didn't know what crudite was until he did that. He's rich. He's out of touch. Probably lives in New Jersey. I get it. But at least he doesn't support political violence.